Hello, in this Vulcan video, we are going to look at the index buffer and the example that we will be using is drawing a quad, so a rectangle, square, that sort of stuff with a index buffer. So with the vertex buffer, you will specify the coordinates for each, you know, single vertice. So the way things work in Vulcan, it'll be like an object such as a rectangle, a quad, is made up of two triangles the more complex let's say 3d object will be made up of multiple triangles but essentially that that's all an object is and then you'll you know have textures mapped to it and you know potentially color that sort of stuff okay so these are vertices and as you can see there's a fair bit of waste because these two vertices so these two corners are shared by these two triangles as are these so a third of this is just literally waste using indices you can just specify a particular indice so zero will always refer to this one one is that one two is that one three is that one and if you look at the indices to draw the triangle you just put zero one two so in a clockwise fashion zero one and two that will draw this triangle and then two three zero draws the other one and then it joins it up and it makes it look like a quad so index buffers are really useful let's implement them they're pretty simple in terms of code so well let's just get down to it so if we go to our code go to where we've got the vertices array i mean the vertices vector i should say we're gonna make a few changes so because it's going to be a quad now instead of a triangle we're gonna have this as negative 0.5 f if this has negative 0.5 f and we can keep this as red we'll have the second vertex as 0.5 f 0. negative 0.5 f so like so and we'll keep this as green and for the third vertex we'll just have here 0.5 f and 0.5 f and we'll keep this as blue we need one more and we'll have this one as negative 0.5 and 0.5 like so so for this we'll just put it all at one so it's essentially white now we're going to create a new vector and this is going to be of u int 16 underscore t actually let me just do the actual one which will be a unsigned short unsigned short i'll just do that unsigned short and we're going to put indices i was spell indices incorrectly and in here we're literally just going to put those zero one two two three and zero like so so now that we've done that we're going to create a couple of objects so go down here where we've got the vertex buffer we can copy and paste this because it's going to be a similar you know system just rename this to underscore index buffer and the vk device memory rename that to in underscore index buffer memory now what we're going to do is scroll down to the init vulcan method and after we call the create vertex buffer, we're going to call a method called create index buffer. And we'll be implementing that momentarily. Now, while we're here, we'll do some cleanup. So go to the cleanup method. After we call cleanup sort chain, but before we clean up the vertex buffer, buffers, we'll just literally copy and paste this. Put that there like so rename this to index buffer and for free memory rename this to underscore index buffer memory like so we're almost done we got two more things to do so if we go down to where we have the create buffer method create buffer create buffer we have it somewhere there we go so we'll just put it before this and literally it's going to be almost identical to the create vertex buffer so again we can copy and paste this rename this to create index buffer and so 
what we're going to do, so instead of vertices, we're going to have indices. And same for this. And we're gonna, still going to call it staging buffer, still staging buffer memory, still passing in the buffer size, still doing VK buffer usage transfer source bit, still or in the host visible bit with the host coherent bit. I'm still passing in staging and staging buffer memory, still having a void pointer. And for the mapping, still the same. For the mem copy, almost the same. It's gonna change this to indices, like so. And for the unmapping, still the same for the create buffer. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. That's gonna change. So instead of VK buffer underscore usage underscore vertex underscore buffer underscore bit, it's gonna be VK underscore buffer underscore usage underscore index underscore buffer underscore bit. And local bit. And this is also changing to underscore index buffer underscore index buffer as well like so and uh, staging buffer we'll change this to index buffer mm. apart from that we're all good to go from this end and literally we've got one last little thing to do just gonna go down to the create command buffers method right here go to where we've got the vulcan command draw method and we're gonna basically get rid of that because we won't be drawing it directly based on vertices. We're gonna draw it based on indices. So first of all, we need to bind the index buffer and then draw it based on indices. So VK CMD bind index buffer. And first of all, we pass in the command buffer. So underscore command buffers I, and then we pass in the index buffer that we created. And then it's asking for an offset, we'll just put zero for that. And then the index type, which is VK underscore index underscore type underscore U int 16. So that's an unsigned int. And one more line, and this is going to tell Vulcan to actually draw it based on indices. So VK CMD draw indexed. And we pass in the command buffers i and we do a static underscore cast to unsigned int and we're going to do indices dot dot size and for the instance count because it's just one set of indices that we're passing in one for the first index we're just starting off at the first one for offset we're not offsetting so zero again and for the first instance it's just zero as well semicolon and that's it see it was very simple if we run it we don't even need to change the shader file which is fantastic so no recompilation needed to, into spv files and there we go we got our quad, we got red, green, blue, and white. So that's it. Pretty simple stuff, but it does help a lot, especially when you get into more complex models. Not, not only is it easier to visually, I mean, mentally process, it's also more efficient in terms of processing as well. So that's index buffers, really useful, not that hard to implement. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Just head over to the Vulcan channel and you can post any questions you have there. There's also a link in the description to the GitHub page where you have all the source code from every single video in this series with working projects that you can just download and just run. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.